Hello, friends and writers and anyone else who's been interested enough to listen into my writing retreat video diaries. Um, today is nearing the end of day three. I only really have uh, tomorrow morning left. Um, so how did today go? <laughs> I have to say I'm feeling a little um, weary. Um, I was talking to my husband because he's here on a um, another retreat. So he goes off doing his thing and I'm doing my thing here. And um, both of us have been saying how tired we've felt. And we had a bit of a realisation that maybe what's happened is because we've slowed down, really slowed down over the last few days, um, it just hits us how tired we were already. Um, so because we're not exactly doing a lot, we're not pushing ourselves, um, you know, we're not working hard. Um, so, yeah, little, uh, just a part of us wondering why we feel so tired and maybe that's it. So, um, so this morning started off well. Um, I started off with doing my journal entry, which is actually the first time I started the day doing a journal entry. So that was good and did some of my inspirational reading. Um, I can't remember anything in particular that came from the reading. Um, apart from, yeah, there's definitely some messages in the book that I'm reading around, um, you know, not trying so hard all the time, not pushing yourself, not driving, letting go of all of this, you know, the noise that goes in our head and just just try and be in the moment. And being in the moment is not as easy as it as it sounds uh, with all the other all the stuff that's going on in our head. So um, really, yeah, some definite messages around um, not trying so hard all the time not pushing so hard all the time. So uh, that was interesting. And then, yeah, so this morning the weather wasn't great. And as you are aware, um, my plan was to walk every morning. And, um, you know, I'm a fair weather walker. I really don't like walking in the rain. Um, I used to walk with the Ramblers um, a lot and I never would go on the walk if it was raining already in the morning. I mean, if it started raining, I had everything. I had my waterproof trousers, my waterproof coat, my hat, everything. Um, but I wouldn't choose to walk in the rain. Um, and um, so this morning it was raining and I was thinking, oh, maybe I'll write first. But I knew that if I started writing, I wouldn't go out on a walk. And, you know, kind of I had a little voice that, that said, just go, you know, just, just, you don't have to walk the path that you did yesterday because, I mean, it was really muddy already and we've had rain overnight. So the path that I walked yesterday and the day before would have just been um, really boggy and, and heavy going. I could just walk on the roads because it's really lovely countryside here. They're very quiet roads. Um, but I didn't have any of that that thinking wasn't going on before I um, went. The thinking was, I don't want to walk in the rain. And um, I had this, this little voice that said, just go. And I kind of acted on it straight away. I just thought, right, okay, I'm going to go. I'm going to get myself ready. I'm going to go for my walk. And I kind of did it quick, you know, so I didn't have to think too much about it. And then as I was putting my boots on, I was getting my, my waterproof on, um, I was thinking, yeah, but, you know, I could go on the road. I didn't have to um, go on the same route as yesterday. I could do a shorter route, blah de blah blah de blah all that stuff. And um, so I set off. And I tell you, within 30 yards of walking, the rain stopped. And it was a really lovely walk. Like the, the, the sky was a bit overcast, but it had blue patches. And it was just really nice. And I, and I walked along the road and I'd already got an idea of where I was going to go to because there was a point on which the path that I'd been on before was um, 
part of the part of that way. I thought I'll go to that point and then I'll come back. And so I got to that point and then I thought, no, I'll just go up the hill a bit further and I went up right up to the top of the hill and had a look at the view and then walked back and then just took another little detour. And um by the time I got back um when when I um finished and checked my tracker I'd actually walked further than yesterday, which was a surprise. Um so yeah, and again I was listening to John O'Donoghue. Um oh gosh, yes. So he said he he you know I, I only listened for about half an hour and there's a lot said in half an hour. But there was a story that struck me that he told and it was about an ant under a, a colony of ants under a stone. And he said that in this colony of ants, there's a genius ant who knows everything. And there comes a point when he realises that he knows everything about the world that he's living in, you know, this colony under the stone, but he doesn't know everything about the outside world. So one day he decides to to set out um, into the outside world. And he said, as he sets off, he comes to a field and there's a horse in the field. And he says, the thing is, the ant, because the ant is so tiny and because the horse is so big, the ant cannot see the horse. And it just, I was, I just stood there, I had to stop and I just looked around and I just thought, I am so small, there is something much bigger that I can't see. And um, I can't, it's one of those ones again where you know you feel it in your heart but you can't you don't know what you um you know what exactly it is but you just know it's it's you know the thought that there's something so much bigger that I can't see um and it kind of feeds into some of the stuff that's been percolating for me this week so you probably realizing that this it isn't just about writing this retreat there's something else Something else has been going on, um, something deeper, something that's shifting inside me, which has been really nice. And I'm not 100% sure that it's shown up in the writing. I think maybe it has. Um, but again, I don't think I'm going to know until I start typing typing up what I've done. But um, I was talking to somebody at lunch earlier and he, he asked me how it was going. And I said, well, I says, I've written a lot. I have. I've written a, a lot of pages, this is, but I don't know if there's anything in there. And he said something like, well, that's hard enough. He says, writing a lot is is a big thing in itself. And I thought, yeah, yeah, I, I don't know what's in there. I don't know if there's, if, if there's anything that's going to be usable in terms of publishing or anything. And, and I do notice while I'm writing, the expectation that I have on myself. I've have been having to see if I can let that go, um, an expectation that there will be something in the writing that we'll, I will be able to do something with. Um, and, I, and I know that kind of cramps my style a bit in terms of the writing. So, um, so I can say, yes, I've written a lot. I've written almost not quite as often as I anticipated, but almost, and I'll probably do a little bit more tonight in the fun writing. Um, but one of the things that I did this afternoon, um, so I went, I went for another walk this afternoon because it was such a lovely day and my husband was free, so we just decided to go and have a um, another little walk and then I came back and did some more writing and, and I couldn't face, for some reason, I couldn't face writing pages and pages like and I have been writing pages and pages so um, I did the same as I, I did very briefly last night and just decided you know something I'm just going to write some shorts some very short pieces so I divided the page into four and just wrote four very short pieces and that felt quite liberating 
Like I don't have to write and write and write. Start something afresh every every few lines. Um, some interesting ones in there, some just, yeah. <laughs> I mean, one of them, I just know it's absolute drivel. In fact, the very last one, I just got one corner of the page left to do. And I just thought, so I've just got to fill it. I just fill it. <laughs> And then I can say I've done I've done that page. It's over. It's done. Um, it's really funny what we what we say to ourselves and to the the things we hold ourselves to. Um, you know, I, I'd got to I'd got to fill, fill the page before I could finish. I mean, silly, isn't it? But anyway, that's what we do. So, yeah. So that's how day three has gone. Um, so I'm going to have a bit of a rest. I'm going to read a bit. I, I bought a new novel while I'm here, um, which is really nice. And um, tomorrow, I don't know what tomorrow's going to bring. I think I might just do a journal entry in the morning, do some reading. We'll have breakfast, have a wander around the garden and then head off home. So... So I think, um, so there might not be an update as such um, about that because I, I doubt there's going to be very much to say. Um, but I think at some point within the next few days, I will also just do a little reflection on, if I was going to do it all over again, what would I do again and what might I do differently? All right, see you soon. Okay, bye. <laughs>